Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many AngularJS developers encounter. Our viewer is looking to implement Bot Detect, a CAPTCHA solution, into their AngularJS application. They've done some research, but haven't found a clear path forward. Let's break down their requirements and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To implement Bot Detect with AngularJS, we will start by ensuring that the Bot Detect library is included in our project. This will allow us to use the CAPTCHA functionality in our forms. Next, we will create our form. This form will include fields for the user's name, email, and the CAPTCHA code. Let's take a look at the form structure. Now, let's implement the controller logic. In the controller, we will define the form data and handle the submission process. This includes making an HTTP request to submit the form data. After submitting the form, we need to handle the server response. If the submission is successful or fails, we will reload the CAPTCHA to ensure the user can try again. Finally, ensure that your application is properly tested. Check that the CAPTCHA reloads correctly after each submission attempt, regardless of the outcome. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, Bot Detect supports AngularJS only with its Java version. Support for PHP and ASP.NET is coming soon. You can achieve your goal by following a guide on integrating ASP.NET MVC 3 into existing ASP.NET 4 Web Forms applications. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.